In this video, I'm going to show you how to determine your Entra ID or Azure ID as it used to be called, uh, tenant ID. Let's get started. So the Azure ID, tenant ID, that's a mouthful. Um, you need it uh, several times, and you pass by it all the time when you go through your, uh, your, your tenant. But you never actually see it, or at least I don't see it. Um, so part of the reason I'm doing up this blog and video set is, is the next time I go searching for how to find it, I'll run across my own blog, which happens a lot, and it will remind me how to get this thing. It's actually not that hard. So we're going to start off with um, a browser and we're going to go portal and you can see that I've got the Azure uh, tenant up on here. And that's going to ask me to log on. Now, I happen to have the Entra ID on my um, homepage. Uh, if that was the case, I'd just click it. But if you don't have it, you go up to the menu option in the top left, and again, you probably see the Entra ID here, but let's assume that it's not there. The trick you know, is, is to go off to the All Services and go Entra ID. And there it is on the uh, So then you click that. And there you have it. I have my uh, tenant ID and I can copy it to the clipboard and uh, I can use it in my project. It's not excessively difficult, uh, but it does. It's one of these things that um, you forget quite, quite often. In the next section, I'll show you how to do the same thing, but with uh, PowerShell. So we're back. We're in Visual Studios. This is how I'm going to access uh, Power. I'm sorry, how I'm going to access PowerShell. So the first thing I'm going to do is install the um, Azure uh, module. I'm just going to click Install Azure Module. And this should take about a minute or so to install. a while to get going, doesn't it? All right, so it's finally done. It takes a little while, doesn't it? So then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to connect to uh, Azure or Entra ID. And I'm going to Log in with my account. Okay. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get the uh, tenant details, which actually you can see it's listed there on the screen. Of course, I've blurred it out, but you can get the uh, tenant details and it's the exact same uh, details on that. So all that's to say is um, you can log on to uh, the portal and get the tenant ID, or you can use um, PowerShell to get the uh, tenant ID, and you can use this information for things like the uh, Power BI um, and graph that you'll see a couple of blogs on my uh, come out for me and. It might be a while, actually. Uh, but then you'll also see how you can use this in PowerShell as well. Hopefully you find this useful. Until next time. I want to thank you for watching and to remind you to subscribe to this YouTube channel. 
Um, and not only that, go off to the Ask Garth site and subscribe off to the new uh, the newsletter. This way you'll be informed of all the latest content. As I've alluded to in this um, video, I'll be working on some Power BI graph um, uh, blogs, videos, uh, and this is where this tenant ID is needed, so stay tuned. Until next time.